April 2023 engineering graphics question paper from the University of Pune popularly known as HPPU so here we have this question number two draw a cycloid of a rolling circle of diameter 40 mm assume the point P is away from the base now some of the students who have not read the chapter well they'll assume that uh, we need to create a cycloid that has been clearly written and uh, the rolling circles diameter is 40 mm so they are going to apply the entire process of cycloid construction but this is a special case of a cycloid so what is that special case please read this sentence assume the point p is away from the base a pure cycloid is when the point p is exactly on the circumference if it is inside it's a case of inferior trochoid if it is outside or away from the base it is a case of superior trochoid i'll show you how it's done and basically this was the confusion and you also need to assume how far you are going to keep this point p right assume suitable data if necessary okay so let me just begin the solution of the problem and uh, here we go remember 40 mm is the diameter so the radius is going to be 20 mm first of all kick off by creating a circle 20 mm radius done very easy now somewhere here if you remember i mean we used to make cycloids where is the black color we basically used to keep a track of this very point okay and let's say that this this circle green color circle is going to roll along this this straight path we kept a track of this very point this is what you call a cycloid isn't it our point is going to be away from the base let's say our point is somewhere here okay in this case the profile found would be of this sort this is what you call a superior trochoid i am going to do this very very nicely for you don't worry so let me select this point at a distance of let's say 30 millimeters from the center agreed okay now with c naught as the center and with this much as the radius you can create one more circle like this done okay before we make the circle let me tell you something this green colored rolling circle has to roll it has to roll onto something okay and we are going to make a straight line over here sir what is the length of the line sir uh, we are actually going for one revolution in one revolution this distance is going to be equal to 2 pi r or you can say 2 into r will make a diameter you can also write it as pi into d sir d happens to be 40 so this is going to be equal to 40 pi so please do the math this is going to work out as 125.66 millimeters so this straight path will be equal to 125.66 is this clear to everyone yes sir now what <clears throat> how can we proceed now okay so far so good let's go ahead the next thing we'll do is we with c naught as center and with this much as the radius we are going to pass a circle through this done sir now you have to divide the circle into first into four parts and then into eight parts here it is very easy now start the numbering let's start from over here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and let's say this is 8 you can also write this as 8 okay now what uh, now what you need to do is first of all you need to set your mini drafter okay over here along this horizontal line done sir then right here you have a screw tighten the screw by rotating it anti-clockwise so that your mini drafter is locked in this orientation once that is done you need to bring your mini drafter to point p then point one then point two then point three then point four and keep on making a series of horizontal and parallel lines yes sir this is easy we can do this now what you need to do is using the line division technique using the line division technique you need to divide this line a b into eight equal parts okay so this is very easy this is what you need to do and then you need to send these points you need to send these point or transfer these points over to this side right so that this is c0 this becomes c1 this becomes c2 c3 and so on until you reach c8 line divisions technique is something that i have explained in the previous video also in question number one okay go ahead and watch that it's, it's a very very basic case now <clears throat> you need to make use of a compass what do we need to do sir uh, basically you need to take this much as the radius sir how much is this much this by the way is equal to 30 
millimeter yes sir so you need to take 30 millimeter as the radius in your compass and then with a c1 as the center please note with c1 as the center and on a line passing through this one and on a line passing through this one you need to cut an arc like this okay once again let me let me reiterate with c1 as the center and on this line passing through this one you need to cut an arc arc is radius uh, arc is having a radius of 30 done this is going to give you point p1 i can write this as p1 now you need to take c2 as the radius okay once again c2 as the center and on a line passing through two this is a line passing through two you need to cut an arc again so it will cut somewhere here the radius is 30 millimeters this is going to give you p2 let me write this now with c2 or done p2 now with c3 as center and on this line passing through three you need to cut another arc this is going to give you p3 let me write this as p3 in the same fashion if you take the c4 as center uh, this is going to be a touch and go case this is going to be your point p4 in the same fashion you can have p5 on a line passing through five p6 on a line passing through six p7 somewhere here on a line passing through seven let me show this to you this is p7 that's p6 that's p5 and finally over here you watch if you take this c8 as center and if you try to make an arc it is going to be just a touch and go case this point over here that is your point 8 p8 you can call it as p8 you can call it as p0 also it's your choice okay let's say this is p0 this also i mean it is back to its original position just after one revolution when you join all of these points in proper sequence what you have is a beautiful curve popularly known as a superior trochoid it's a special case of a cycloid okay the rolling circle is moving along a straight line i know that but the point that we are tracking it is outside the circle not on the circumference had it been inside what we would have um, created uh, is uh, uh, would be a uh, inferior trochoid right inferior trochoid point is inside superior trochoid point is outside as in this case i hope you all have understood how to make the construction and as far as uh, pencil work is concerned please take a look at this there it is this is going to be your pencil work right please please check these arcs have been made with the help of a 3h pencil you can also go for a 4h pencil okay but hold it lightly these lines again 4h pencil ah but when you make this curve you need to use an h pencil okay thick and dark please make sure that you follow all of these instructions very very uh, honestly right